capillaries is where the final exchange takes place. The capillaries are, they have no muscle, they're just a thin membrane and things diffuse back and forth, right? You know, so the final, the final pathway, the final um, pathway is diffusion. It's interesting. And there's some carrier media, immediate stuff, but mostly that. Now, the v and then the, then you have the venules on the other side, and the venules are important. Um, they still deal with, they still have some smooth smooth muscles. Uh, they have they also have nervous nervous tissue in them. But what's in, what's interesting is that when you get an infection, when you get sepsis, you have uh, the, the it's the venules. Where, where Chitvan was showing you how the, those things, uh, the white blood cells collect around the sides. When the venules they actually leave and they go through the vessel wall into the tissues. Monocytes do that and they become macrophages. Anyway, the endothelium, which is the lining of the blood vessels and, the, and then there's the endocardium, the lining of the heart, is the only thing that's ever in touch with your blood. Your blood never gets to the cells. Your blood gets to the capillary, the endothelium, the lining of the capillary, and stuff diffuses back and forth, but the blood stays there. So blood is always just in touch with that endothelium. That endothelium turns out to be one of the you could, if you looked at it as an organ, it's, it does everything. It's where inflammation comes from, it's where healing comes from. It's a very important part of the body that no one ever talks about. And it's where when your body's gonna, when it has a problem, and it needs, inflammation is how the body heals. Remember, it's not bad. We always think of it as bad. Acute inflammation is absolutely great. You get red, hot, swollen, and painful, that means it's healing. Chronic inflammation is different. It's calluses and, you know, Chronic inflammation is a completely different thing than acute inflammation. But I just want you to show the endothelium plays a critical role in peripheral vascular disease, car, uh, strokes, heart disease, diabetes, kidney failure, tumors, metastasis, blood clots, severe viral infections. It's all the, the work of your body fighting it is taking place pretty much from the endothelium, the lining of the blood vessels. And the blood vessels that, have the, that are the most important are the, one, the, the lining, the endothelium in the microcirculation is the most important. So if the blood's not getting through there, you can't fight, you can't heal.